When you hear the phrase, save the bees, what exactly do you think of? Likely, the first thing that comes to mind is one of these guys, a honeybee, Apis mellifera, with their typical black and yellow stripes. But what if I were to tell you that this, this, and even this are all also bees, and just as important for pollination? Hi, I'm Vela, and I'm here to teach you all about native solitary bees. Over 90% of bees are solitary rather than social. This means that they don't live in hives, don't produce honey, and each female bee makes her own nest with her own eggs. These nests can be in dead wood, tunnels in soil, or even repurposed termite nests. Some of my favorite solitary bees are ultra green sweat bees, wool carter bees, and masked bees. Native bees are important because they are very effective pollinators. What they might lack in numbers compared to honeybees, they make up for in quality of pollination. First of all, native bees are very messy. While honeybees have neat pouches on the sides of their legs to store pollen, native bees have hairs called scopa on their legs or abdomens. So when they collect pollen, they spread it around much more, leading to more successful pollination. Native bees also tend to be specialists, so they have a preference for a species or a genus of plants. When they visit those plants, it's very likely that they have the right kind of pollen already on them, leading to successful pollination. Honeybees, however, are generalists. They don't really care which plants they visit, so frequently when they do visit flowers, they have the incorrect pollen for pollination. But unfortunately, solitary bees are in decline. The biggest issue is habitat loss. There are fewer native plants, so less pollen, which is very important for provisioning their offspring. Also, a lot of bare soil, which makes crucial nesting sites, is covered by asphalt or buildings. And sadly, another large factor is actually honeybees. I'm willing to bet that for the majority of those listening, this is your first time learning about solitary bees. This is because media and conservation efforts tend to focus much more on honeybees, rather than the solitary bees which, arguably, need more help. Yes, honeybees are declining, but mostly in agricultural settings, and frequently due to pesticide use, along with some other factors. But in the wild, in places like the Americas, honeybees are very invasive and very common, even out-competing native bees. And yet, people who have good intentions end up helping honeybees because they don't know any better so resources that could be going towards native bees don't. So, next time you hear the phrase, save the bees, turn your attention towards these incredible, diverse pollinators. Thank you for listening.